Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and on Monday, November 30th, 2020, I reached 750 subscribers. So I want to thank everyone who has watched my video, subscribed to my channel, or both. I appreciate it very much. And I took a few days off from recording and gained another 11 subscribers. Therefore, I'll be calling this the 750 plus subscribers edition. Today, I'll be reviewing the Allura Tech Stream Wi-Fi Internet Radio. I bought this at Best Buy in 2017. I don't remember the price of the radio. I just remember that I bought it at Best Buy. Here's the front of the package. And the features on the package are 20 plus streaming apps, including iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora, Sirius XM, Slacker, Radio, TuneIn Plus More, Music, Programmable, Alarms, Weather, Calendar, a 4.3 inch touchscreen display, 4 gigabyte built in memory, it's internal memory, dual powered via AC or built in rechargeable battery. The top of the package is right here, you can pause and look at that. And then the bottom of the package, you can look at that as well. Picture of the radio features and information on Allura Tech. I'll bring this part up a little further so uh, you can pause and read that. And then on the sides of the radio, you have picture of radio on each side. Right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is remove uh, the outer box and then take the contents out of this box. We have the AC adapter here, 5 volts, 2,000 milliamp hour. Here's the plug right here. And then you have this mini USB cable in which you can either charge the radio or transfer files from your Mac or PC. It's mini USB, I mean micro USB. Right here. Then there's some paperwork. I'll show you that. Some uh, product registration papers here. This one is in English. And then I have one in French. And then the quick start guide right here. It's rather big, so I'm not going to go over the whole manual. But you have the model number here, AIRMM03F. Package contents, technical information. You can pause and look at that. And a diagram of the radio. Um, it has push button controls, LCD touchscreen display, 3 watt, 2 speakers. And then the bottom has uh, a reset button that's inside the radio, a uh, 5 watt subwoofer, and then you have your power adapter port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and mini USB port to connect to PC or Mac to transfer digital files to built-in 4 gigabyte internal memory. That port, by the way, also can charge the radio while it's plugged into a computer. And that's all I'll show you out of that. And then there's the radio. It comes in this bag right here. Very sturdy. And here's the radio right here. And um, before I get started, 
I'm going to do some size comparisons. First, the Sanjin DT400W right here. You see how much smaller this is compared to the radio. You can fit about three of these here, or one in each spot. And the Texan PL606 right here. You can fit two or three of these in there as well. So, um, by the way, uh, my Texan PL606 is now set to UTC. So that's why you see the difference in time. It's 1254 Eastern Standard Time or 554 UTC from the northeastern part of New Jersey. So I'm going to give you the dimensions. 10 and an eighth inches in length, 5 and a quarter inches in height, and 3 inches in depth. The speaker grill, which is these two speaker grills, Three and a half by five inches, assuming I assume it's between a three to three and a half inch speaker, which uh, that's a pretty good size speaker. You have your LCD display right here when it's turned on. I don't know what this is. You have your Loratech logo here. On the top of the radio, you have the power, pause, play, back, voice command, alarm. And volume down and up buttons on top. On the bottom, you have your reset button here. It's inside the radio. You have to put a pin in there for it to reset if it malfunctions. Rubber feet to stand the radio. And a 5-watt subwoofer here. Made in China. And then to the back of the radio. DCN jack. Headphone jack. And the... Micro USB jack. I don't know why it said mini over there. It's actually a micro USB jack. Headphone experience. The headphone experience. Low level hiss when it's set to uh, zero or one. Otherwise, uh, it sounds good. It does sound good in stereo. So they did a good job there with the sound. But what I'm going to do right now is turn on this radio. It takes a little while for the radio to turn on, but it uh, has a pretty good intro. You see how it just lights up, the logo lights up from left to right. So it's a nice intro. I kind of wish they shortened it a little, but oh well, I guess that's how they made this radio so it does take a while to turn on there it is now we have uh, the display up here but what I want to do first is drag this down because uh, there's some features up here you have the time and date here owner brightness settings uh, the modem that I'm using right now that's my Wi-Fi no service, uh, battery indicator, airplane mode, location, screenshot, and screen record. Basically, it's a uh, Android-based uh, internet radio. And I wanted to bring this down again to show you the time. Here it is. Wi-Fi symbol, battery indicator, and time. And right now... The time is 12.57 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, excuse me, Standard Time from Northeastern Park, New Jersey, December 6th, 2020, Sunday. On the left, you have your weather and social media apps. Then in the middle, your music and calendar apps. And on the right, your alarm, memo, and settings app. This app here shows if you've been to previous apps. And in this case, it wasn't. Then your up and back buttons here when you touch it. And then your weather app is here, which is AccuWeather. And it shows uh, the current conditions. In my case, Clifton, New Jersey. Looking ahead and minute cast. Then you have your hourly forecast, which goes to the next 24 hours. 
of hourly conditions. Then you have your daily. It has a temperature forecast here as well as the forecast for the next 14 days. And then you go to maps. And it'll show when there's weather. Currently nothing on the screen. Well, there may be a little something up there. Perhaps some snow around Pennsylvania, but rain, snow, and ice intensity indicators here. And if I press this button, it should be able to show the weather for the last couple of hours. Yeah, it's very slow moving. It's supposed to miss my area. I'll go back. Video, if any, but it's not playing any video. And then over here, current conditions. And then there's your share button here where you can share it through email or Gmail, which I won't do. And then this button here shows more features such as Find Me, which is the GPS, Change to Celsius, Upgrade to Platinum, Radar App, Share Weather Videos or Settings. And then your social media app. We, I don't have any. I don't use it for social media, but it has four available apps. Amazon Cloud Drive, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then your music app. I only have two in there because a number of them are already obsolete. But if I press the plus button, it'll show you the apps that were available. You can pause and look at all those. And there's more here. Okay. But I'll play something from TuneIn later on. Right now, let's get to the calendar app. Is right here. Yeah, the line's not the greatest, so... I'll press this button here, and... New event, refresh, search, calendars to display, send, feedback, settings, and help. And then the alarm. It shows both the alarm. You can add an alarm if you wish. I'm not going to do that. Here's the current alarm here. You can set it to on or off. And then the local time on the bottom. And then memo. You can actually write memos here. I wrote one memo before called radio. That's all I did. And then there's a welcome one as well right here. And then your settings. And here are the settings. Uh, for example, you have your network setting on the upper right. And it shows all the Wi-Fi connections that I have, including the one I'm connected to, the one at the very top. The sound settings, volume, default notification sound, touch sounds, and screen lock sound. Display settings. You can... Uh, Pause and read that. I'll bring it up a little. And then I'll scroll here for more options. And then date and time. We can set it by automatic date and time or automatic time zone uh, according to the Wi Fi connection, but you can manually set the date, time time zone, uh, 24 or 12-hour format, as well as choose the date format. And then there's local storage. There's an internal storage here, the next one being external SD card, USB, image files, as well as video files. I don't have any, though. So, I'll go back, and then, what I'm going to do next is play some content from uh, TuneIn. 
I tried the iHeartRadio app. It doesn't seem to work anymore. You try to go to a station and it just says it stops working and it backs out. So it closes. So this is really the only one that still works right now. It has local radio, music, sports, news talk, podcasts, recents, trending by location and by language. So you can search for stations like that. So what I am going to do is maybe play some local radio right now. I want to try briefly a music station, but I want to see which one. Which one should I try? I think I'm going to try WFUV. I think they're playing music now, but sometimes they are specialty shows. Um... I have a personal disdain for him that, you know, he is a, a really, uh, he is a, he is a tough guy. I mean, it's not like Bowles who Bowles was a bad I coach. I think during a he talk was a bad show. Coach and, and he was, uh, I didn't hate him as a guy though, but, yeah. but he was a fine guy. He was a nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. When Gaze walks up there, I cringe. I think wh- I'm going to try another thing? sports no, station. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, to be honest with you, I don't watch it anymore. I don't, I don't watch th- it anymore. I, I, I don't. This is ESPN 90.7, my local ESPN station. Right on the doorstep of a playoff, which is great for them. They, Josh Allen's playing terrific ball. The defense has been better lately. Uh, the running game inconsistent, but uh, Singletary looked good last week. San Francisco, they're healthy now. They're coming off that big win. They are healthy other than a quarterback. Mullins is, eh. But the running game got healthy, and that's a key with Mostart and Wilson. They do have uh, Samuel back as a wide receiver, so uh, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough play here. I'm going to go into recent people who love San Francisco, which scares me because you know, the public, but uh, a, a tough game. This is like a toss up. Very difficult here. I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to stay away from it. All right. I'm going to find a music station. I could try to play. I'll try WXPN, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's a music station, but I can't play it very long cause of copyright. Interviewed by Jeff Town of the nationally syndicated radio program, Echoes. And we'll start off talking about my 40 years here behind the microphone for Star's End. It's been 40 years since... Uh, I'll try another time. music station. Came on. This station's from Bermuda. And um, I'm turning it down because of the music. But I figured I'd play a sample of one or two music stations during this video. So, let me see if there's any other stations with music I can play. Hmm. Oh, Beat FM. That's from Mexico City. They might have something there. Help you take advantage of today's low mortgage rates and save money? Rocket can. You can save oh, of dollars they're playing an ad. Refinancing with Rocket Mortgage at today's near historic low rates. If your current rate is over 4%, you could lower your payment by over $150 a month, saving thousands in interest every year. Call us today at 8338 Rocket or go to rocketmortgage.com. Savings are based on quick and loans, internal rate, points and fees may apply. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal as a letter, license in all 50 states, and MLS consumer access dot org number 3030. Come, come in. Um, that song that play as far as music cause a copyright, but and I think I'm gonna play one more clip, and that's from 680 News CFTR Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So we'll see what's going on with the news there. I can keep this victory in the state of Georgia. 
that has already certified Joe Biden as the winner of the presidential election. We're fighting very hard for this state when you look at all of the corruption and all of the problems having to do with this election. All I can do is campaign and then I wait for the numbers. But when the numbers come out of ceilings and come out of leather bags, you start to say, what's going on? Despite using a rally to dispute the election, Trump is in Georgia to help campaign for a pair of Senate seats, which are up for special election. A Democratic victory in Georgia would flip control of the upper chamber to the Democrats. A partisan divide is said to be growing in the U.S. about how to continue a COVID relief plan into this coming year, with the existing COVID package set to expire at the end of this year long. And that is all for that. I'm going to turn it off. And um, my thoughts on this radio it has a very good sound on it. It's a little obsolete because the Android system used in 2017 is different from today's, which makes uh, the Android system a little obsolete, and it makes a number of apps that were on this radio obsolete. So, obviously... I wouldn't recommend getting this, looking for this type of radio today. Three years ago, four years ago, maybe, but not today. Definitely not because, uh, you know, Android uh, keeps uh, updating its system. So, I wouldn't recommend it to buy today. Three, four years ago, sure. I would have, because it has a great sound. And plus, uh, you know, you can access a lot of stations on it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. So have a good weekend, everybody. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.